Kia ora whanau, back at it again with another video. This is week 5 of Module 5 here on the Kahao i Te Ao e-commerce program. So this week's kaupapa was about creating and preparing a one-page store. Uh, within this kaupapa, there were three separate parts mahi that we had to do. Uh, product and service photos, product and service description, and social proof. So what are these things? Product and service photos. Basically taking an awesome photo uh, that adds to the visual appearance, which becomes one of the key deciding factors uh, of your customers buying your product. Um, so they talked about different hints, tips and tricks. Um, you know, using a phone, using a well-lit room, a well-lit window. Uh, the more natural light you have to bring in, uh, the better for your product to come to life. Um, they talked about having a tripod uh, to stop, you know, camera shake and help standardize, standardize photo angles and styles for your product line. Uh, also having a white backdrop um, to give your photographs uh, their clean, consistent look and eliminate, eliminating any distractions of, you know, it might be on a on a wood or something else you want a kind of white background that's going to add to uh, the ambience of the product itself um, and offering different angles different perspectives of your product uh, to a shopper to help them answer any questions uh, that they might have about your product um, yeah so in the product and service photos we pretty much learnt how to take the best photos we can with our phones. Obviously, the higher megapixel, the better. Uh, using uh, natural light, using white backgrounds, uh, and a um, tripod to help enhance. Because, you know, this is the only thing your customers are going to see. They can't actually feel the physical product. So this photo is going to give them uh, that experience. You know, you want that experience to be like their product is sitting right there in front of them. So taking good photos is one of the key factors in converting uh, sales um, and selling your products, especially on, uh, well, on e-commerce here. Yeah. So uh, that was the first kaupapa. And the second kaupapa was how to write a product description. Uh, so a product description is the marketing copy that explains uh, your product. Um, and why it is worth purchasing for your customers. So you're going to describe your product in in a way that helps inform, that helps uh, your customers um, know the important information and the features uh, and benefits of that product and what it's going to do for them. Um, so writing, you know, we want to write the best product descriptions, addressing uh your your customer directly and personally so we want to be able to um connect with the customer through the product description um and so you know you want to be able to have a conversation with them um and it talks about choosing words uh your ideal user or your ideal buyer sorry will will use uh which they can relate to so when you know it's not just that, oh, this is this, this is that. You want to be able to sell the product in a way that your customer can relate to it and feel it. They can see the picture like it's right there in front of them, like the product's right there in front of them. And they want to be able to relate to the um, to the product. Uh, maybe telling, you know, mini stories, including mini stories. Um, uh, persuasion, looking at persuasion techniques. Um you know, in writing the product description, you want to write it in a way that, you know, people actually don't know they've been sold a product. They're just so in love with the story, the description, and the actual product that they <laughs> they buy it because uh, it resonates with them and connects with them. Um, so that was uh, the second part we learned uh, this week on how to um, create our one-page store. Uh, the third thing was about social proof. Uh, so social proof is the idea that consumers um, will adapt their behavior according to what other people are doing. So when we see 
Uh, there's an example line of customers wanting to eat at a restaurant. Um, there's a photo of a celebrity drinking a certain brand of coffee. And, uh, you know, when you see that, uh, you kind of, because it's a celebrity and, you know, they're kind of well-known, you kind of gravitate and think that, oh, there must be a real good coffee because if they're drinking it, um, you know, and they're famous and they're wealthy, whatever, um, then it must be good for you. So that that's what social proofing is about. Um, they talk about six different types um, that you'll pretty much see anywhere uh, or everywhere. Uh, case studies, testimonials, reviews, social media, trust icons, and data and numbers. So these are all different types of social proof. Uh, so having testimonials, like say from famous people, um, if people can see testimonial, um, man, he bought that, so it must be good. So I had an example of a buying uh, one of those massage guns. I seen a rugby player, I think Canterbury player, uh, buying it as because as I was searching, you know, there's so many. But then I come across his name, and I was like, oh, it must be good, because if he's a top rugby player and he's bought it, then it must be good. So, you know, that helped me to purchase uh, my own mint. Anyway, um, so, yeah, so uh, it talks about 88% of consumers trust user reviews as much as personal recommendations. So uh, having those reviews, having those testimonials from people um, are going to help to sell our product. Um, and it says, um, yeah, ask for feedback from people that you do have your products. You know you might give them away and then ask for feedback uh, to whānau and friends. Um, but yeah, so that is social proof uh, about getting a reputable, well, not necessarily a retub- uh, reputable source, but getting those product views, getting those testimonials that will help other people see like, oh, okay, they reckon it's good, so it must be good. Um, and that's going to help convert uh, into sales. So just to recap again, uh, for preparing a one-page store, product and service photos, got to have a mean product, uh, service photos about your product, uh, product and service description, write a mean description where your customer can relate to it, and social proof, having those testimonials and reviews where Fano can see um, and, you know, make an informed choice on all those things to buy your product. So that's me, Fano. Uh, week five here on Kahawiti Al e-commerce program. Let's go.